Block Heron Fruit Market in Glasgow. I'm here with my friend Brian from <laughs> from Woodstock, which we met at Woodstock before yeah. we ever met in Scotland. Before we met in Scotland, how weird so, is that? Yeah, yeah. So this is your first time here? First Are you time here, yeah. Well well enjoyed it so far. Bought myself some watermelons, grapes, figs and mangoes. Yeah. So decent another places. wander around just to see if there's anything we've missed in the first trip. Yeah. We're just looking to see if we've missed anything special. Um, but I got the same, I got watermelon grapes, which the guy was calling Sultanas. <laughs> <laughs> so they're small grapes and uh, got oranges and I got English apples. I was hoping there'd be some English apples and stuff in, so I found some. Anyway, it's around about the time the market's nearly uh, starting to finish, starting to close up a bit. Yeah. So, how did you how did you get on this path? The, the raw food path. The raw food. Well, um, I bought myself. I was I've been a vegetarian and a vegan for 17 years. Yeah. And I found myself sometimes living alone. You would run out. You would like not use all your fruit and vegetables and yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hello. <laughs> so I bought a blender. All right. Okay. To make smoothies and soups and stuff. Yeah. And I ended up buying a Vitamix blender. Uh huh. So when I went online to get recipes and all that, I saw people making smoothies and people talking about raw food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that was my entry into raw food. Oh, wow. Well. And then from there, I've just read more, discovered more, and it's like uh, it's like the rabbit hole. The deeper you go, the better <laughs> yeah. it is. Yeah. And uh, do you enjoy uh, Woodstock? How was that oh, experience Woodstock for you? Woodstock was fantastic. It was great to be in an environment with so many like-minded people. Yeah. All with the similar views on life and but, uh, how to get the best out of life with health and nutrition and exercise. Excellent. I met some, some fantastic people. Body here, of course, and I'm meeting <laughs> back home already. Yeah. Getting introduced to Block Aaron for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woodstock, I'm already counting down the days from next oh, year. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Me too. I'm, I yeah. can't wait, yeah, 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 yeah to be great. honest. So, yeah, that's good. What do we say? It's a bit noisy here this morning, but we're just. Um, Walking around the various places. These are all Scottish tomatoes. Interesting. What do you think about fruit quality in Scotland? You've, what have you uh, found? It's okay. definitely seasonal, and as the summer got <laughs> on, you got more variety and more yeah. uh, better quality, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a bit, a bit worried about the winter. This will be my first winter <laughs> back in Scotland for a long time, so... Oh, well, that's um, true. But it's, it's, it's good enough, I think, in modern, modern world, with its well, transport methods and all that. That's it. You know, and if you can manage to get organic, yeah. you're always going to get a better flavour anyway, and the goal is always organic anyway. True, so, true. Yes. I lived in Switzerland before here, and the yeah. quality there was was better. I must admit, you know, in terms of just because it was closer to Spain and uh -huh. Italy and things. All right, so cool. really, it was just fresher, and there was lots of uh, local markets, you know, run yeah. by either yeah. locals or um, like Middle Easterns and things like that. You know, they had these fantastic Lebanese markets where you would get great things like dates and figs and all these <laughs> things. You know, they, sounds good. They're kind of they're, they're kind of natural diet. You know, I think that's I think that's something we miss out on here is. More markets, you know. Yeah. This is a wholesale market, and you get shops, but you don't really get these like so-called farmers markets or you yeah. know like uh, just a fruit market yeah, that's open to the public more. Well, this farmers is open market has carrots and potatoes if you if you do go. Yeah, there. and <laughs> cheese and yeah. These are quite nice. So coming to a big fruit market is like. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's a playground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> and I think you gradually get better at you get you get better gradually at choosing things and yeah. a bit more astute with you know. It takes a long time taking, to learn about food. Yeah. And you forget that you've learned all your life about other types of food. Yeah. You know, grains and all these kind of types of things. Yeah. Well, that is true. And we all kind of. Um, 
we do get we do get taught how to eat. We get taught how much to eat, and we get told like you get given a quantity as well when you're young. So it's like kind of naturally you have to do that all again when you change to like more raw foods. Doug came out with a great thing at the festival when he said, uh, I was telling Bennett actually, yeah. he said something along the lines of it's going to take you like 8 to 10 years to realize how to eat everything, you know, because someone asked him, well, how do you know that hunger's up here when I think of hunger's yeah, yeah, yeah. and things, yeah. and he was like, well, it takes a long time, you know, wow. and you think you were 8 to 10 year old before you knew all these things as you were growing up. Well, that's true, yeah. You know, it's that same kind of learning curve. Yep. But it's a great learning curve too, because you're much more aware of what you're doing. It's a fun path, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's great to learn about all these different fruits and different names and try them out and go places to try and experience them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, I think that's maybe us finished for the day. I think so, yeah. <laughs> maybe one or two other bits to get. See some, I saw some water, uh, honeydew melons back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Let's have a look at honeydew melons. I love the colours as well, you see. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Everything's so bright. It's not like brown brown boxes. Yeah. You yeah. Like brown potatoes, brown bread, yeah. brown rice, or whatever. You know, it's all the fantastic colours. And it's there to try as well, so you can, you can, yeah. some, the habits cut up sometimes so you can try. So, I would definitely recommend Block Iron Fruit Market for um, anyone in the kind of Glasgow Central Belt area. Absolutely. We're getting a large quantity of fruit. There's a guy over there that we'll... <laughs> it's a banana man. Hey Mr. O'Connell. How are you sir? Uh, right, sir. Not too bad at all. Yeah. Very, very quiet at the moment. Very quiet at the moment, yeah. So I was just getting a little video again. Oh yeah, I know. How, how are you? How's, uh, how's life oh, going? I've been alright, yeah. Nice man. Right. It's been hard at times, but been alright. Yeah. Hard. Can't complain. <laughs> Very hard time, you're buying two million a year. Well, that's it, isn't it? Things are hard. Bananas are popular, that's good to know. Yeah, they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, please, thank you. Busy, man. Anyway, thanks, Thomas. That was okay. See you later on. See you Tuesday, Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. I'll stop you all, man. Thanks a lot, man. Bye. This is the man for bananas. This is the man to go to. Thank you. Yeah, you can be on it as well. Hey, <laughs> you're, you're another banana worker. Oh, I'm real bent me. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. See you later. The characters of the food market, eh? Um, yeah, Thomas has been really good to all the, the guys who come here and try and get boxes of bananas. He's always given us I think, bananas for five pounds, less than 10 pounds at the, at the most. So, very uh, nice guy. You should go and meet him if you want some cheap bananas because you can try and get them in uh, other waitros or supermarkets you'll end up maybe or some of the organic uh, sellers it might end up like 30 pounds more than that but he's got organic bananas five pounds so no brainer uh, okay right thanks brian yeah, speak to you later yeah, yeah thanks for bringing me here yeah